hey Ross World, my money makes money. Fluck credit cards, okay? Fluck credit cards. Now, I didn't say the actual F word. I put an L in there because I know there are some spiritual people, there are some church going people, and I don't want to offend. But I would like to suffice those other viewers who want a little hard nose to it. Now, if you have underage minor, under the age of 18, and I wave the middle fingers, let them know that's a friendly high to their credit card companies. Am I mad at my credit card companies? No. I am mad at the credit card companies that give you those unsecured amount line of credit that with a whopping rate of 24 to 30%. Now, case of point, there's two types of credit card people. Now, talking about me and you, consumers of credit cards, right? Discipline and undisciplined. I used to be undisciplined. I used to go buck wild with my credit card. I was like, oh, I don't got the cash. I'm going to use a credit card. Credit cards are good for one thing and one thing only. Well, for some of us, two things is that when you don't have the cash, you have the credit. Now, it's good for raising your credit score if you use it properly, okay? If you use it effectively. You need the perfect formula, people say, is that you need two revolving accounts on your credit history in order to raise your credit score. So that's two credit cards. Now, this is what I hate about those credit card companies that offer you $500, $750 when you have a low credit score to build up your credit score, is that their interest rates are outrageous. Now, case in point, I, I've, I've kept this for like almost a year, this credit card that I cut up a long time ago. And this is one example, okay? Can you see that? Broken pieces of a credit card. <laughs> That's one example of a horrible credit card company. This one is called Credit One Bank. Now, this is not a video about Credit One Bank. This is an example of one of the most horrible credit card companies that actually rob you of your money, okay? And I credit up and counsel the account a long time ago. Now, for you discipline people, you understand that you use that credit card with the money that you have in the bank. So you pay it off before the 30 days actually expire. So you see, and you can actually tell in your credit report, credit utilization that you're actually using your credit. And it also helps your debt to, debt to income ratio depending on how much your credit line is on that card. For those who are using it and are disciplined with it, you understand that principle and it actually helps your debt to income ratio and it also helps your credit score. Now for those who are undisciplined like I used to be quite recently, I keep it real, but this is the thing. Undisciplined is this, you don't have the cash, but you have the cash coming. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, 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 no. You don't have the cash, bro. You don't have the cash, girl. You have the cash coming. <laughs> That's not the same thing. Use that credit card with the cash you have in the bank. So you use the credit and you don't have the cash. Then you wonder, you use the credit and then when you do get that paycheck, you don't even pay your credit card bill off. You know what you do? You pay the minimum balance or you're like, girl, I'm going to put $30 on it. It's only $25. I didn't pay it over. Look, dog, that's not the way we do things around here, okay? You're putting yourself further into debt. Further into debt. Now, you got savings and investing. This is, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take how much you have in debt. Doesn't even matter how much it is, except, you know, my house thing. Don't count the house, but count your car, count your credit cards, personal loans, student loans. Count how much you have in debt versus how much you have in your IRAs, your investments, real estate, individual stocks, savings, etc. Now tell me how much you have. If your debt is higher than your savings, investing, etc. accounts, then are you in surplus of cash or negative in cash? Ponder on that for a second. So this is the message I'm trying to send to you very quickly, very fast, and in a hurry because some of you celebrate Halloween. That's right around the corner. You're going to go buy your kids the best costume ever or you're going to go to Wally World and get them the cheapest costume ever. But regardless of what it is, you're going to spend some money. Then Christmas. Oh, let me back up. Then Thanksgiving. 
you're either going to make a plate and take over to a family's house or you're going to make dinner at your house or you're just going to go over to the family house and say, I bought a six pack. <laughs> Natural ice. The point is this. You have to work on this. You can't say, you know how some people say, oh, hey dog, I'm going to start working out Monday. I'm like, wait a minute, it's Tuesday. And Monday is almost a week away. Like, why didn't you start this Monday? Oh, I just thought of, now listen, start today. If you are saving and you are investing and you're in credit card debt, stop. Pause your investment. Pause your savings because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're in debt. You have credit card debt. You have student debt. Pay off your debt. Pay off your debt. Especially these darn credit cards. These are the highest. See, this one I don't understand, right? This one I don't understand. When people say, oh, I got 8% on my loan, I got 10% on my loan, whether your car loan, your house loan, like those big purchases, people are like, oh, that's horrible. But when you get an interest rate on a credit card, no one says anything. They're like, oh, 17% is regular. Now, some of you with great credit, you're like, oh, that's horrible. I get 3%. I get 1%. But a lot of consumers actually get 17 to 30%. It's just a loan. People say a line of credit is just a loan because you're using the money because you don't have the money. Okay? So this is Ross World where we're getting out of credit card debt. We're pausing everything. For these people to stop robbing and stealing all of our money, I'm out.